All right, so we are looking at perimeter and area with this uh, home connection. And first we have Josie, who is putting a fence around her rectangular yard. And one dimension of this fence is 24 feet, and the other is twice as long. So what number is twice as long, or double 24? That would be 48. Now we're figuring out the perimeter of this, so please remember there's four ways to do that. I could add them all up like that. I could multiply each by two and then add them, or I could add them together and then double that number. So I will let you figure out which method you would like to do, but that would be the perimeter. But now she's going to put grass on this thing, right? So filling this guy up with grass you would measure it in square feet now, and now we're multiplying. So we're looking at this and just think a little bit how you want to do this. Um, those are both pretty big numbers. Uh, I'm tempted to try doubling and halving and then the over method, but I think actually I'm just going to go ahead and try the area model. Or you know what, the more I look at it, you could also try the if you can do this, you could try the over method. Yeah, you could try it like that. And then for this, do, you know, five is half of 10 or 50 is half of 100 to figure out that and then subtract that or just go straight up for an area model, something like that, and then add them all up or two different ways you could do it. Or again, we're learning so many ways up to you how you want to solve that. And now we have a patio in the area is 216. So one dimension is nine. So why don't we try, uh, yeah, let's just do the ratio, a ratio table. So we're basically dividing 216 by nine and we're gonna do it like this. So I'll go to 10 and 90, and then I'm gonna go to 20, and that's gonna give me 180. And I need to get to 216. If you can subtract or find the difference between these two numbers, you'll know how much more you need or you could just move your way forward little by little. So if I go 21, that will give me 189, and then go 22, and get yourself so you can figure out how long that is. And then once you've got that, they're asking the perimeter. Take whatever number you get here, and figure out the perimeter. You have nine, and you have this number as your two dimensions. And then use one of these three formulas to figure out the perimeter. And now let's look over here. We have one more page for this one. All right, so what we have here is uh, Raphael and his sister, and they both drew rectangles. So Raphael's is 16 by 24, and the sister's is 18 by 22. So who has the larger area, and who has the larger perimeter? I feel like you're almost better off using uh, more paper here if you need to, but I'm going to do it on some extra space. So Raphael's 16 by 24, I think, and his sister is 18 by 22. So to first figure out the area, uh, you're going to multiply. And again, there are so many ways you can do this. I am tempted to double it and half it once and then multiply that out because that's easier. And I might do the same thing with this one. Turn that to 9 times 44 and then you could use the over method for uh, both of those, but basically multiply them out and figure that out. And then for part B, like once you figure out the area, you need to subtract to figure out how much bigger one is than the other. And then next do the perimeter. And again, this is where I would uh, just ask you to go back, <clears throat> use one of these formulas, right? To figure out the perimeter of each shape. And then which one has the longest perimeter? or the larger perimeter, and that goes in part C. Uh, so yeah, you might need some extra paper or you can try to squeeze it in there, but that's number four. And now we have number five, so let's see here. Okay, so Daria has a rectangle here, and the area is 180 inches. So they actually made a mistake. This should be inches squared, right? <clears throat> and one side is 12 inches. So what is the perimeter? That's why this is a challenge. You gotta make sure you understand perimeter and area and then figure that out. So the step, first step is to figure out 
<clears throat> what is this side, right? Because um, that is what you need to figure out the perimeter. So to do that, you need to divide 180 by 12, or 12 times what equals 180. Okay, so I'm going to use an array to figure this out. And if I went times 10, I'm all the way up to 120. And then can you get to 180 from there? I'm gonna let you see if you can figure that out and then figure out the perimeter by adding those all together. And now Luis's rectangle, we have uh, a perimeter of 48 and one dimension is 13. So if this side is 13, this side is also 13. And we need to figure out these sides here, right? So this is what you can do. This, these two 13s, double them <clears throat> for 26 and subtract that from 42. Now take this 22 that's left and you have to split it up between there and there. So what is 22 divided by 2? Figure that out and then what you will do to finish it off is you need the area. So then take 13 and multiply it by whatever number you figured when you divide it by 22 by 2. <clears throat> and solve that one, and there you go. So again, you might need an extra uh, piece of paper for all of this stuff. It's a pretty good one, uh, but that is your homework, perimeter and area, and thank you.